Da 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 da. <laughs> I just woke up about 17 seconds ago. Uh, welcome to episode 51. No, 52. Which is it? Who cares? It's episode 52, season one of The Hate Napkin. Like I said, da 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 da. da. <laughs> oh my God. So I just woke up. Uh, our sound engineer from Bali just uh, called me and said, you're late to work. And he's right. I should have been here earlier, but I'm here now. I don't have any pants on of any kind, um, but that's okay. Uh, road ragers. Oh, my God. Spent 12 hours on the road yesterday people who are in such a goddamn hurry to get nowhere mm. and cut you off in traffic and then want to brake check you for the next five miles. I, I'm driving a Ford F-50 Platinum. I could run your ass over. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I stole the boss's truck. <laughs> <laughs> he called me at 11 o'clock yesterday and goes what are you doing and I said rolling into Des Moines Fuck and he up. said what? I said I told you yesterday he goes what are you driving I said you're really nice truck <laughs> yeah, he goes oh yeah I guess you told me that yesterday you should be careful on the road <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks. Yeah, who would cut off a massive like F thirty? Somebody from Iowa. <laughs> we live in a world that's just harder and harder to believe. All right. I, I don't like, get the I don't get the super speeders because if you do the math, they're they're getting there um like under a minute. Like if you do the math, let's say they're going 10 miles per hour faster than you for whatever, the 30 minutes they're driving like an ass next to you and putting everyone's life in danger. They're getting there about a minute quicker, sometimes less. If you do the math. You don't have to do the math. It's just look at who pulls up to you at the next red light. It's them. Always. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you know, there's no math involved. You just go to the next red light and the asshole who fucking cut you off 25 minutes ago is at the red light. Right. Let's just be very clear about this. So there's no math involved. It's just karma. There's just, there's just semaphore karma. Oh my God. All right. So yeah, people who cut you off, heads on the road, Jesus Christ. If you want to do that, hey, we are sponsored today by my coming book called uber nights uber nights by eric bjorn buy it on and read about all the fucking assholes on the road that have fucking come through columbia south carolina because i have killed it was really funny i was i had a i had a, a woman in the car a young woman in the car she's like what's that sound in the back i was like uh those are the dead bodies from the last cut me off <laughs> she's like really oh my god yeah, really. Yeah, dead bodies. I just told you all about them. They're in the back seat. Oh my God. All right. I've got something else for the hate napkin here. Um, so there's this to be this new phenomenon. It's a it's a teenage thing, it's an adult thing, it's a buy it at Target and Walmart kind of thing. People who run around with teams of musicians and bands they have never heard of or ever listened to. Like, it seems like every 10th person now is wearing a Kiss t-shirt. And these are people who I promise you who have never listened to fucking <laughs> And I'm like, did you get, why are you wearing that shirt? You don't know who Kiss is. We haven't earned that t-shirt. Same with Prince. A bunch of people running around these days with print t-shirts. I'm like, oh, you're a big Prince fan. 
no, I just like the shirt. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, okay, there's no way you like gin blossoms. Huh? Who's gin blossoms? <laughs> You're wearing the shirt, you dumb shit. So there's this new thing. I, I think, I don't know. I don't know what's going on out there in this world where, you know, abortion is no longer legal and all these crazy things have happened. But people in our donning t-shirts that have they don't have any experience connected to i have a question for you uh do you work at nasa do you <laughs> i know what nasa is okay I've, i'm just saying uh, do you NASA, ever since, do you work there ever since I blew up when, when i was in grade no i get your point it's the oh. world with the leonard skinner t-shirt on yeah, I mean, if you're wearing if if you're wearing a Leonard Skinner T-shirt, and I say "Free Bird," and you go like, "Hold oh, what? Where?" <laughs> you're a fucking dipshit. Don't wear T-shirts for bands that you have no. Okay, so I like uh, I've got this really cool Gorillas T-shirt. I mean, Gorillas is like a pretty avant-garde alternative band, right? But I actually love their music, and I've listened to it for since before most people that wear them were even born. People are like, oh, you, you like gorillas? I'm like, yeah, I actually really do. I could sing you, five, you know, let's, let's sing Eastwood together. I mean, they're like, oh, that's really cool. Like, I've earned that t-shirt. I like gorillas and it's a cool t-shirt and it, it's a conversation starter, but I've earned it, right? I would you assume you were just in the song of your people. Of my, oh, um, a what? Of my people? Did you call me a gorilla? Yes. Racism. Oh. <laughs> Were you a fan of the Challenger? Oh, I man. actually was. Okay, so I think uh, I have a suggestion. Not a suggestion. I'm so tired of pulling up a, a place on Google Maps and reading negative comments. So I kind of want to put negative reviews on Google Maps. But this is truly what I want to put on the hate napkin is negative reviews of chain restaurants. I mean, of like, we all know what McDonald's is. The fact that you're reviewing it, you're really you're not going on. Not, there's not a lot going on in your life right now. Let's well, read no, this. Let's read this, read let's this, read this one. Read this I'm gonna read this out of the McDonald's in Vietnam you got a one out of five rating and here is the review oh wait I should describe there is a plate of fries with a pack of ketchup on it a paltry apple pie and a soda drink which is kind of what you expect the only thing missing is the uh, we all bag. know what the McDonald's serve so here's so go order. ahead Ordered large fries but it was only 75 percent full and they only gave two ketchup. This is the cheapest fast food penny pinching tactic I've seen in Vietnam. I mean, that doesn't even include the Communist Party. Shame on you, McDonald's. Shame on you. Like, like they just committed atrocities in the Ukraine. Right. It's like you could have walked up to the counter and asked for another ketchup packet. I, 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 after on. this review, I... I we expect to drive down the highway and see a big like electronic billboard that says pray for McDonald's. The only thing missing on that plate is a fucking defibrillator. <laughs> it's also like if you don't think that's a large fry, how fat are you? I, I wouldn't be able to eat like I'd be able to eat. I want to see a documentary. On the, I want to see a documentary on like the the. Uh, supply chain of how that apple pie showed up in vietnam i i just love when someone's having a bad day and they take it out on like a, a chain on a on a right a review yeah as if as if, as, as if bob mcfucker is sitting somewhere in a room in you know mcdonald's hq crying his eyes out but like any of this is important <laughs> the shame on you Shame on you with the atrocity, the horror, the horror. We left 25% on our side. They only got 75% full. Here's someone who can, who can 
can't even complain without leaving the house. Okay. I mean, they, they, they well, can't even. They didn't even leave. They're here's, getting it delivered. Here's a review from. No, no. Here's a review from Tuan Nguyen. Tuan Nguyen and McDonald's give a one out of five. Months ago, um, it looks like he got a couple of Rocky Mountain uh, Rocky Mountain oysters fried, deep fried, in a little box. Dine in a hundred times, but horrible ordering online. If you did not want the discount, then did not make it and made customer feel cheated. I ordered a combo called large size of three chicken wings with 90,000 discount and paid 100,000 through grab ad and received 30 pieces of chickens like my baby fingers. <laughs> why why are you that? admitting that you have baby fingers? <laughs> Why are you saying, why are you telling the world? Wait, he wasn't just disappointed, he was disappointed. I'm going to tell you a thing or two about. Oh, my yeah, God, yeah. that was a great Jerry Seinfeld voice. Please take this off the screen. It's just killing me. Yeah, it is I awful. agree. It is awful. But yeah, so this is what's, that's what I'm putting on the hate napkin or just negative reviews for things that are just not important when there's like i don't know murder and war like are you writing your congressman as passionately as you're leaving a review of your fries that are you think are missing 10 fries or you're too lazy to ask for a ketchup packet i mean do you really think that do you think do you think that mcdonald's is gonna shutter the door <laughs> over this i mean how stupid are it's like oh my god no you're right Totally right. You should never leave a review for a large chain restaurant because we already they know don't give a they fun. suck. Well, I, yeah, and we all know that they suck. But yeah, why are, why are you number one? Why are you eating there in the first place? It's extremely unhealthy. Right. Extremely unhealthy to eat at McDonald's or any place like that. Do, do you think that a review of it will do any good? And why would you say I've dined there a hundred times and I have baby fingers? You're basically you're basically putting out there to the world, I'm the moron and I have a tiny penis <laughs> and I don't want to leave my house. Weren't they Vietnamese? I have baby fingers. I there was a plate fingers. of carbs it's and not, sugar and they were bitching that they weren't these are baby enough carbs fingers. and sugar. These are hey, Carla has something important to say. No, I didn't. I said it was a tray of carbs and sugar. And they were complaining they didn't get enough carbs and sugar. You know what would be great? If we could review the reviewers. We I think to. we just did. Yeah, I know. But if you could actually post a review going, I'm not really satisfied with this negative review. Clearly, the reviewer is a moron with tiny fingers and probably, you know, the cholesterol of uh, who knows what the fuck. I, I, I think we should build a review. Is that a coffee cup? Filled with tequila. <laughs> we haven't had a coffee cup moment in the show in a long time. Let me see the coffee cup. What's, what's it say? Oh, this is interesting. I never actually read it before. It is actually a coffee cup from a place. It is a novelty coffee cup. North Island Project Compass, North Island. Um, it is Michigan. a novelty cup, cup and therefore belongs on the hate napkin. But wait, what are the places? Mount Muni, Mount Raj, Sudaka. Oh, maybe it's Mount, Japan. You know, it, it, yeah, it looks like Japan. Yeah, it's a no, Japanese. it looks like a coffee mug. Carla, where's your interesting coffee mug? I, wait, 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 I Let, wait, wait. Because I didn't even make coffee. <laughs> I, just oh like the, I like the it phrase on the top. I like the phrase on the top. I've never come looked at the picture. Come, come back here and enjoy someday. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> great mug. That was a great mug moment. That was a great mug moment on. The hate napkin. By the way, um, we're not done yet, but we will be soon enough. If you have things to hate, just send them to info@hatenapkin.com. That's info at the hate And remember, you can follow us on social media. Just look for the hate napkin. Duh. How many people are like that? It's got to be, you know, that's it. 
on uh, Twitter, the Book of Faith, and Instagram, and wherever else you want to go. And our show is on Anchor, which is means we're sponsored by Anchor FM. Anchor FM, the great podcasting platform for everybody, including Nitwit Lakash. Well, I think I'm going to do the entire... I'm going to do... I'm Sean... I'm going to do the entire next show as Sean Connery. How do you feel about that? Don't. <laughs> you have the worst Scottish accent. That wasn't a... Sh- that not- I can do a Scottish accent. That was my Sean Connery. Well, that... He was... I know. Really have to take a shit so bad. Will this be the on-air shit in the history of podcasting? It better not be. I'm not going to Scottish shame you. I didn't know he was Scottish. You can poo. Okay. How can you not even Scottish? I I really do have to poo. All right. So we're going to conclude season one, episode 52 of The Hate Napkin. Brought to you by Sherman. <laughs> Brought to you by Sharding. And the Challenger. The Challenger. That's right. Brought to you by when you... Since you never know when you're going to blow. <laughs> Did you know that the uh, captain of the Challenger had blue eyes? Oh, my God. Yes. One blue, one blue here and one blue there. <laughs> All right. So we actually are. This that is show is dedicated intense. to all- all the amazing astronauts of both the Challenger and Columbia Space Shuttle design, because humanity almost got it right twice. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll uh, but that's it. You have once again dived deep into the canals of hate. All right, it's the in five guys. I gotta take a deuce.